Ladies and gentlemen, Rocket League has been updated again. This is now version 1.34 of Rocket League. My name is Sliced Lime, I'm here to take you on a tour through the changes in this version. Let's start with the arenas. Neo Tokyo was taken out of the rotations in a previous patch. It is now coming back, but as a standard layout arena. And it is now available in all playlists. So basically, Neo Tokyo is now an arena just like any other but with all of the fancy visuals from the original Neo Tokyo. If you did like the original Neo Tokyo map, that has now been renamed Tokyo Underpass, and it is available to play in offline and in private matches, so that hasn't gone away either. Instead, that is replacing the original Underpass map, which is instead being removed from the Rocket Lab's rotation. There's also a couple of fixes on other arenas. Side boost locations on DFH Stormy and on all of the different versions on Airborne Central now match those in the other standard arenas. And the ball indicator was not working correctly on the nighttime version of Manfield, and that is also fixed in this patch. A couple of fixes in terms of gameplay, nothing major. If you got assists, that is now correctly displayed in the leaderboards that used to be bugged out, and on Xbox One, the registered voter achievement has been fixed, so you should be able to get that one now. Lots of the changes in this version have to do with loot. There's a new loot crate being added to the game, the Nitro Crate. Has brand new items. One of the most interesting things in this loot crate is the Mantis. It's a new battle car and it is essentially a reskinned Batmobile. Same bounding box, same kind of profile and turning radius as the Batmobile, but a brand new and fancy visual. If you get the Mantis, you also get the six decals for the Mantis. A couple of other things as well, there's a Loot Crate community flag and the decal for the Ice Charger, the CCCXL, has been correctly named to CDXL instead. Now there's other loot, there's loot of the more physical variety as well. Zag Toys have teamed up with Rocket League to produce mini pullback battle cars and they are sold inside a Rocket League ball shell and it's kind of a blind deal, you get a random car inside, most of them are normal cars, there's the Octane, Dominus, Massamoon, Hotshot, Krog, X-Devil, Merc and the Backfire in there, but there's also three rare versions, the Electroplated Battle Cars and one Super Rare Mystery Car. Now what does this have to do with the game at all? You might wonder, well, the rare and the super rare pullback racers will come with a code that is redeemable for in-game items. And they will be on sale later this spring and then you can redeem it via a new button in the extras menu that is introduced in this patch. The two exclusive items from this are a Rocket Trail, Cold Fusion, and a set of exclusive wheels called ZT-17. Couple of stability fixes in this patch. If you toggled motion blur on and off, you could crash the game on the Steam version. And on both the console and Steam versions, if you toggled light shafts and vertical sync in the options menu, in the video settings, then the game would sometimes automatically re-enable that, and that's fixed in this version as well. Finally, in terms of the bling department on the graphics side, rocket trails viewed in the garage when playing in split-screen would display diagonally, and that is fixed. There is fixes for a lot of the rocket trails, and I'm not going to list them all in the video, but if you want the details, look in the video description for the changelog post, it lists all of them there. And then they fixed an issue causing some of the glowing wheels to look incorrect when they were painted. That affected the Photon, Septum, Troika and Voltaic wheels. And then let's round off with what obviously is the most important fix of all. The bunny ears now flop in the correct direction. That is all for this time. My name is Sliced Lime. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please help me out in return and leave a like. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.